Hi, y'all. This is Rhonda with Rhonda Thomason Acrylics and Clocks. And I wanted to show y'all the finished clock that has been on my last three videos. And she's for sale. This is a Bear Woods clock. 5% discount code in the description below. I love these clocks. So watch my last three videos and you can see where how to make one and how to get one. This is also an 18 by 24 piece that I've done that is for sale. And here are my Rottweilers. One, two, three. This is the Mama Molly. That's the Daddy Mojo. And that's the Baby Delilah. This clock is for sale. This is on a record album. It's another clock I made. I like to make clocks. They're way up there. You can't hardly see them. Uh, this one's for sale. Okay, now we're going to go to my studio. And I'll show you. This is the finished clock from this video you're fixing to see. Finished clock. <laughs> finished painting. And this is a finished painting. I don't remember what number video it is. I think maybe number five. And it's on an 18 by 24 with KS resin. This painting is also for sale. And I do offer a layaway plan for my paintings. This one here is for a client. I made this for her. I've still got to put the dashes on it. But I will be making one of these out of my Bear Woods clocks. This is not a Bear Woods clock. But anyhow, y'all enjoy the video. Hi y'all, this is Rhonda, my, t my channel is Rhonda Thomason Acrylics and Clocks, and this will be my ninth video, and I forgot to get my apron, so I'm sorry y'all. Okay, I got my apron. Today I'm going to be doing the bloom technique. My forte is the Dutch pours, but I do also do blooms. And I'm getting into acrylic or, or a resin art. Anyhow, today I'm going to try to recreate this. This is a 10 by 20 painting that I did a long time ago. And I have a Facebook group. It's Acrylic Paintings and Other Forms of Art Sellers Group. Check it out. There's 8,100 members. Lots of great artists. And you see all my art on there, too. Anyway, this was on a 10 by 20. And I wanted to recreate it. Or <laughs> try to recreate it. I didn't have a 10 by 20, so this is a 12 by 24 inch. So I don't know how that's gonna go. I'm using PPG Multi-Pro Interior House Paint and Eggshell today. And I don't have my spreader, so 
I'll have to use a tongue depressor, I guess. My colors today are translucent. Um, I've tried to recreate this painting before, but I couldn't remember the colors. So, if y'all have been watching my videos, you I've told you that I've recently remodeled my studio and put some shelving in, and I found my notepad with my colors on it for that painting. I was stoked. So, I've mixed them up, and we're going to get started. The only thing is I didn't write down the order. I didn't put the order that I put them in. So, here we go. We're going to go ahead and get started. My husband uh, has recently gotten off work. They've taken him out of work. He hurt his back. So he's home. All right. Okay. I hope there's going to be enough paint. Surely. Surely it is. help to the edges there so it'll flow better. My cell activator today is Australian Flow Trawl with Amsterdam Titanium White acrylic paint. This isn't a deep edge canvas. I usually work with the deep edge canvases, but this is from the Hobby Lobby. And it's just a regular canvas. After this, I'm gonna do another clock. I do the, the Bear Woods clocks. And when I get through with this, I'm going to show you the results of the clock that I've done in my three-part series videos. My last three videos. And I'm going to pop some bubbles. I mixed this yesterday, so there's not a lot of bubbles. And you don't want to torch your house paint like you do your flow trial or your water and acrylics and that stuff because it'll put a skin over your paint I did um, use my level and it said that it was level, but my paint seems to be going to one side. Okay, anyhow, here's our colors. Now, one thing I do remember from that painting was that I used the Permanent Red Violet by Amsterdam first. My pouring medium is the Bare 8300 Untinted House Paint. And... Joe Sanja gloss varnish. And there's really no no recipe. You just because everything, you know, you got your pigments and then you got your fluids and then you got your acrylics. Everything's mixed to different. But we're gonna go ahead and put the red violet down. And like I said, I don't remember what order I put that in, so I'm just going to wing it today. 
This is the TLP enchantment. Can you see the consistency of my paints? It's like warm honey. And this is the most beautiful color in the world right here. I love it. And if you're not going to blow your design off the edges, you want to pay close attention to your the edge of your circle because you don't want it like all wonky because you want the edges of your flower petals to be pretty. Now this is the one I was telling you about the light rose by Amsterdam. It it's opaque. So we're gonna be we're just gonna drizzle it. Okay. And this is Iridescent Blue Green by PBO. If you get down real close to the canvas like that, you can control the edge of your circle. And that, watch me. I just messed up. I'm going to fix that though. Just push it back in. And then drizzle a little bit more right there. Okay, see? No harm, no foul. This is Greenish Blue by Amsterdam. Okay, get down real close and go around the edge. I'm just hoping I didn't put too much house paint on here. And then all my design's going to go off the edges. Because I controlled it in that painting pretty well. Uh, hmm. I know I used iridescent pearl in it, and I used the 24K. And I want to go ahead and do the 24K. When I get through with this video, I'm going to go in there and play on my phone and uh, learn how to download music. So during the quiet moments, or if y'all get tired of hearing me talk, I can just play music. And I did also find CapCut. So those last three videos that I posted of me making my clock. I could have put all three of them, because each one of them is only like 15 minutes. I could have put all three of them videos into one video. But I didn't learn how to do that till after I finished making the clock. Okay, this is Golden Fluids Quinacridone Magenta. And all of these are made with the 8300 and Joe Sanja. And if it's a little too thick. All you do is just add a drop or two of the varnish because this one had thickened up a little bit. Okay, and get real close to control the edge. Okay. I'm not going to put a lot of this either. Watch that big glob fall in there. I don't want the paint to take over. And then I'm going to put the pearl. Okay. 
Take care of the neat edges. There we go. And I'm going to put some. I love this stuff. I didn't put it like right in the center. Because I'm wanting my cell activator to go on top of a tube paint. Which is going to be that quinacridone magenta. Okay. Do y'all's table ever just <laughs> get messy? Because there it is. There was a lid laying on top of it. My cell activator. Uh, it's three to one. Australian flow trial. With titanium white by Amsterdam. And don't ask me what my blow dryer is. When I first started painting about a year and a half ago, I just went in the bathroom and got one. And, and then I ordered the condenser from Amazon. First of all, we need to pop some bubbles. Get my head out of your way. Now, if I don't like this video, I'm not going to post it. <laughs> I'm teasing. Y'all need to see my fails as well as my successes. Now, with my Dutch pours, I used to flower have a hair dryer by Drew Barrymore, but it doesn't have a cool shot on it, and it scorches this house paint. It puts a skin on it. This one that I'm using has a cool shot on it. I use it for the bloom. Alrighty, and here we go. Put the cell activator down. And we're gonna blow it out. Here we go. I, I blow slow and easy. And I'm gonna go this way. And then I'm gonna go this way. And then I'm going to do the corners. I'm going to focus on that a little bit more. Okay. And then, um, I like to draw like little lines to um, separate the petals. You want to wipe off your skewer every time. I use one of these shish kebab skewers and I don't go all the way into the center I just go ha like halfway in and just don't let it drip on your design I don't like to wear gloves either. I don't, I just, I feel like I can't feel my hands. A lot of the artists that I watch on YouTube that I learn from don't wear gloves. 
But I do wear an apron and I use it a lot. Okay. Alrighty. I'm going to check and see if there's any more bubbles. I don't see any. Well, it sure does help if you mix your paints ahead of time. It really does. And can y'all see that? I'm also learning how to film. I'm not, I can paint. That's about it. I'm learning everything else as I go. I need to move everything out of my way. Okay, and we're going to spin this. Uh, I love them colors. I think I'm going to help this other side just a little bit more right here. There. Okay, see so if you don't like it, you can change it. I love that 24 karat gold. It's gonna put like a gold shimmery overlay over this whole painting. And another thing, when I found the colors that I used in this, the only thing I had written down was magenta. And y'all know how many colors of magenta there are? A lot. <laughs> so, I just found the prettiest color that I had of magenta, which is the quinacridone magenta by Golden. And used it. And it does look like a different magenta than was in the other painting. I didn't match that paint, I think I come close. I'll go ahead and move some of this paint out. Help it go over the corners. It done moved over the corners. No, it didn't move over this one. Yeah, you can just get a popsicle stick or anything and help it move. Does anybody else have allergies? I do. I went to the doctor and my allergies just happened to be for tree pollen. And I live way out in the woods, so go figure. Yeah, it's spreading out more than I wanted it to. I did put down a little too much base. I didn't want it to go over the edges. See, so what happened was, after I'd done the original back here, um, I started getting commissions for Dutch pours, and I got away from doing the bloom, and I had just learned to do the bloom. I've only been painting for a year and a half, and I shouldn't have done that. I should have kept in practice, but I'm getting back in practice. So next time we'll know, right? Not as much base paint. And it's about finished. And what I do is I just test it with my trusted skewer here, and that's good. I'm happy.
happy with this, except I didn't want that to go off the edge. If this was some of the artists that I watch on YouTube, they would fix it. Just scrape this part off and fix it, but I'm not that advanced yet. Okay, let's see. This one. This one. Can y'all tell it's a different color of magenta? This one's a lot softer. That one's a lot brighter. I think I got the other colors right. There. Well, I know I did because I wrote them down. I just didn't put the magenta. I'll show y'all what I do to let that dry. I'm gonna go get my clock. This is the clock that I just recently finished. And it's for sale. I'm trying to get it all. There we go. Okay. Y'all, be patient with me. I'm still learning. This is my ninth video, so maybe when I get like a hundred videos, then then I can mark it up. Yeah. But Everybody started somewhere, right? Okay. Well, y'all please watch my videos and subscribe. Tap the like button. Um, and the notification bell if you want to be notified of my new paintings. Tomorrow, after this is dry, I'm going to do another Bear Woods clock. But this one's going to be different than the last one so y'all stay tuned and uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this have a good day and happy painting bye y'all